everybody, Brett from Gulf Coast Sourdough. Um, we had a suggestion today at the shop for a great idea for a video. Um, it's a, gonna be a real quick one, and I just wanna introduce you to my favorite way in the whole world of using up old bread. So what I have here is we have a loaf of our olive and herb bread that we sliced up into pieces. This is our crusty version. Um, it would work with our sandwich bread too, it doesn't really matter. Um, and I have some olive oil on a pan here that I've been heating up. It's about a medium, medium high heat, nothing too much. Olive oil has a kind of low smoke point, so you don't want to go too hot with it. And what we're going to do is what we call make pan toast, which is basically taking your bread and, and quickly pan frying it in, in, the, in the hot skillet. So we're going to do that right now. So I'm just going to do, you won't fit, be able to fit the whole loaf in right away. But I'm just going to spread some pieces around. I've told some people about this in the shop before when they've come in and, um, and got some stuff and asked about how to use it. And I've told them this, and it is the truth, that if I had to pick one food, if I had to choose one food I could only eat for the rest of my life, it would be pan-toasted olive and herb bread, because there is something just absolutely magical about this. And I have to, every time I talk about this, I have to be... To, to be honest about something, before we started making this bread, I actually personally did not like olives. I never, never liked them. The only reason was because Christina said, we should do an olive bread. I was like, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> and this bread turned me around. I saw the error of my ways. So if you have any olive haters in your life, it's happened before that something has turned them around. And especially pan toasting it like this is, uh, there, there's not a, not a better way to try to introduce them to that. So the other thing that we do is once you have it in here, we're gonna leave it on the, the, the bottom side for just a, you know, just a little bit, just to give it a nice crisp. Um, on this side, I'm gonna sprinkle some coarse sea salt. Um, it just gives it that extra, well, magic that only coarse sea salt will do. Um, other things you can do, this recipe has herbs in it, so I'm not gonna add any herbs, but if you have like a Italian herb blend or basil or something like that, or some garlic, you can sprinkle it on here just to kind of zest it up a little bit. Um, and it's, you know, it's just, it's just magical. So some other ways too that you can use, uh, to, that you can use up some old bread if you have it, some stale bread, is uh, you can dry it out and either if it's already stale or if you need to dry it a little bit more, like just put it at the oven for a low temperature or leave the pieces out. Um, you can kind of chop it up in a food processor to make breadcrumbs. Uh, which is awesome for meatballs or for you know breading things that you're going to do. Um, you can always also, also also make croutons. Um, you can either do that by cubing it up and tossing it in some olive oil and then either baking it or you could actually just do it in a pan like we're doing right now. Basically, you just like dry them out and cook them, um, and they'll stay they stay good for a long time after that too. Um, you can also make something called panzanella, which is kind of like an Italian tomato bread salad. Fantastic. So look at if you Google a recipe. We might, if, if we get a chance, we'll we'll just pick one out that we've used before and, and put a link to it on the, on this comments of this video. Um, or of course, you can make French toast, um, and we highly recommend our cinnamon swirl bread for French toast, um, or um, our babka, any of those. But at, but any of the the, the savory breads will work too. Um, and or you can make a breakfast casserole where you kind of cube it up. And, and bake it with eggs and bacon and all that kind of stuff. So let's take a peek and see how these are frying up. Oh yeah, perfect. So basically you just want to do this so that it has this kind of nice crisp, oh that'll be my piece. <laughs> I like the extra crispy pieces. Um, and you just do it to taste, but you want to get a nice crisp on it. If you, and the other key here too is you want the oil to be hot. If you put the oil in cold and then do it, the bread's just gonna soak up all the oil. Uh oh, we have our, our helpers who are coming in, one of being a part of the video. So I'm gonna put some more sea salt on this side. If you had, if you're doing any other herbs, you would do the same thing. So basically, you're just gonna keep it in the pan until the the other side is this crisp level, and then you're gonna be done. So we'll take a picture at the end of the plate with all the goodies on it. And thanks for watching.